This is the Kegel exercise. Okay. All you have to do is fill in the blank. Close friends describe me as... Does it have to be one word? No. As many words as you want. Uh, loyal. Loyal. Or it could be one word. <laughs> loyal. <laughs> Strangers describe me as... Probably reserved. Only I know that I am... Incredibly insecure and shy. My last meal would be what? And I would eat it with whom? My last meal. <clears throat> That's hard. Oh my God. Uh, it would definitely, probably, I don't know, be something boring like salmon, but also have hostess donuts around the outside <laughs> of the plate. Hostess donuts? Oh, those little powdered. <laughs> I, know. I know, I've just donut never heard them pronounced that way. Well, they're donuts. <laughs> That's how they're spelled D O N E T T E. <laughs> That's how they call donuts. them? They're the... Donuts. I'm because they're all... small and they're from the oh, 50s. Oh, right. Hostess donuts. Donut. I've always called them donuts. Every time I mention it, Hostess sends me a gigantic box. We're out of them, so I thought I should say oh. Hostess donuts. Again. Hostess donuts. Where's my hostess yes. donuts? I want some of that action. Yeah, 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 yeah. The movie I've seen the most times is probably The Women, 1939, George Cukor. Joan Crawford. Yes, of course. Rosalind Russell. Every homosexual definitely <laughs> knows that film. Knows Although, that by film. the way, uh, homosexual culture, as you and I know it, is dying out. Oh. Um, yeah. These young ones, they, these no. youngins don't know about the no, women. No, no, no. I mean, you and I could probably sit here and quote every line. Every line. When I moved to New York. Should we try that? Yes. But to tell you, when I moved to New York, if you wanted to figure out if the waiter was gay, you would say... Zips up the back and no bones? No. No. <laughs> no. I would say, have you seen Mildred Pierce? Oh. My and God. if they knew Mildred Pierce, they were definitely gay. Now, you can't tell. No, you can't tell. Okay. No. I think I'm really good at... I think I'm really good with people. I feel sexiest when I am... Rarely do I feel sexy, surprisingly. I think I have this reputation as being somebody who's so sexual, and I think at times in my life perhaps I was. Uh, I would like to feel sexy again. Um, yeah. I wouldn't be caught dead in a... I wouldn't be caught dead in flip-flops. Oh, really? I hate flip-flops on men, um, unless you have the world's most perfect feet, and then <laughs> only at a beach resort, never in the city. I think this trend for men in sandals in a city drives me crazy. Or on a plane. When you're on a plane and someone gets on in flip-flops, it's very strange. That's just gross. I don't know how they feel secure enough. I couldn't cope Well, you like a boot. I like a boot. It's a Texan in me. Yeah. The thing about myself I've learned to love is... Oh, God. All of it. Um, meaning, I don't think I loved, it. <laughs> loved myself very much. I mean, I think I'm still learning to love myself. I love the smell of... My dog's ears. I love the smell of my dog's ears. Oh, it's great. It smells kind of like peanuts. I was thinking buttered toast. Oh. I could talk about blank for hours on end. I could talk about movies for hours on end. I can sum up my life in this bumper sticker. Just the word lucky. That would sum up my life, lucky. Hey everybody, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it. And for more of the Jess Cagle interview, click on the subscribe button down here. We've got plenty of other great videos for you too. Check them out by clicking on one of these links.